Pastor Keon Henderson may not need to fill a traditional father figure role in the lives of his bonus children, but that doesn't diminish the significant impact he has as a stepfather. His presence in their lives brings a blend of wisdom, guidance, and support, helping shape a new, blended family dynamic. Keon, who was once a collegiate basketball player, is now married to Shawnee Henderson, who is famously known as the ex wife of NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal. Shawnee, a prominent figure in her own right as the creator of the hit reality series Basketball Wives, shares four biological children with Shaquille. Their children, Sharif, Shakir, Amira, and Miara, have grown up in the public eye, largely due to their parents' high-profile careers and public personas. Each of these children has developed their own unique paths, with Sharif and Shakir both following in their father's footsteps by pursuing basketball careers, while Amira and Miara are also making their own marks on the world. Together, these four represent the core of Shawnee and Shaquille's shared legacy, a bond that remains strong despite their divorce. In addition to her four children with Shaquille, Shawnee is also the mother of her eldest son, Miles, from a previous relationship. Miles, though not biologically related to Shaquille, was raised with the same love and attention as his siblings, creating a tight-knit family bond. Shaquille, for his part, has consistently treated Miles as his own, ensuring that he feels fully embraced by the O'Neill family. In the same way, Shaquille has a daughter, Tahira, from a relationship before marrying Shawnee. Despite the complex family structure, both Shawnee and Shaquille have always prioritized their children, ensuring that all of them feel loved and supported. Kayon Henderson, who shares a daughter named Caitlin with his ex-wife, Felicia Henderson, now steps into this intricately blended family. His role as a stepfather is one of support and stability, bringing a calming presence to Shawnee's children. While Shawnee and Shaquille have maintained an amicable co-parenting relationship for the sake of their children, Kayon's involvement as Shawnee's husband introduces another layer of guidance and care into the family dynamic. Kayon's relationship with Shawnee's children is not about replacing their biological father, as Shaquille O'Neal has remained an active and influential presence in their lives. Instead, Kayon brings his own form of leadership and mentorship to the table. His experience as a pastor allows him to offer a different kind of emotional and spiritual support, which is equally valuable as the children navigate their own personal journeys. Being a stepfather can often be a delicate role to navigate, particularly when the biological father is still very much involved. Kayon's approach, however, is one of complementing and enhancing the already strong family foundation. His presence offers an additional layer of love, encouragement, and wisdom that only strengthens the family unit. Kayon's relationship with his own daughter, Caitlin, reflects his deep commitment to fatherhood, and that commitment naturally extends to Shawnee's children. Kayon and Shawnee's marriage symbolizes the merging of two family units into one, and Kayon's role as a stepfather reflects the evolving nature of modern families. His ability to offer guidance without overstepping his boundaries allows the children to maintain their strong bond with Shaquille, while also benefiting from Kayon's nurturing and supportive presence. Kayon's own experience as a father to Caitlin provides him with valuable insight into the complexities of parenting. Though he does not need to be a replacement father figure for Shawnee's children, he adds an important influence in their lives. His background as a pastor enables him to offer spiritual guidance, something that may resonate deeply with the children as they grow and face their own challenges. The dynamics of blended families can often be complicated, but in the case of Kayan and Shawnee's family, there is an emphasis on collaboration and unity. Both Shaquille and Shawnee have worked to maintain a stable and loving environment for their children, and Kayon's role as a stepfather only serves to enhance that environment. He plays an important part in the lives of the children, offering a sense of consistency and wisdom that complements their existing family structure. In modern times, blended families have become more common, and Kayon Henderson's role in this family serves as an example of how love and support can transcend traditional family roles. He is not defined by the need to replace a biological parent, but rather by his ability to contribute to the overall well-being and happiness of the children in his care. As both a pastor and a father, Kayon brings a unique set of values to his role, blending the responsibilities of fatherhood with the compassion and guidance of a spiritual leader. Ultimately, Kayon Henderson's role as a stepfather is one of influence and support. While Shaquille O'Neal remains a strong father figure in the lives of his children, Kayon adds another layer of mentorship that benefits the family as a whole. His marriage to Shawnee Henderson represents the blending of two lives and two families, creating a new chapter in the lives of all involved. Through his role as a stepfather, 
Kayon continues to provide the guidance, love, and support that all children need, further strengthening the bonds of this modern, blended family. When discussing their blended family, Pastor Kayon Henderson, leader of the Lighthouse Church, has often spoken highly of the relationship he shares with Shaquille O'Neal, the legendary Los Angeles Lakers champion. Despite the complexities that often come with blended families, Kayon and Shaquille have managed to maintain a healthy and respectful rapport. Kayon has openly acknowledged that when it comes to his involvement in the lives of Shaquille's children, there has never been any tension or issues between them. This mutual respect has been key in creating a harmonious dynamic within their blended family. Kayon addressed this relationship during a past episode of his and Shawnee's podcast, The Gru Zone. Speaking candidly, he described the solid foundation of respect that exists between him and Shaquille, dispelling any misconceptions that there might be tension between the two men. He's a full-grown man. I'm a full-grown man. He's always respected me. I've always respected him, Kayon said, emphasizing that their relationship is rooted in mutual understanding and admiration. In Kayon's eyes, they've built a connection based on respect, not rivalry. Kayon went on to explain that their relationship is one that transcends the usual complications that can arise when families blend. I think he would say the same. Ain't nothing but love. No issues. Grown people don't do that. He added, pointing out that, as mature adults, they've managed to avoid any unnecessary drama. His statement reflects the importance of maturity in blended family dynamics, where the focus should be on what is best for the children rather than any personal insecurities or competitive feelings between adults. This kind of wisdom has allowed both men to navigate their shared responsibilities with ease and has set a positive example for their children. For Shaquille, Kayon's involvement in his children's lives has not been seen as a threat or intrusion, but rather as an additional layer of support for the kids he cares deeply about. Kayon, in turn, has never attempted to overstep his boundaries as a stepfather, understanding that Shaquille remains an active and loving father to his children. Instead, Kayon's approach has been to offer guidance, mentorship, and spiritual leadership where needed, complementing the fatherly role that Shaquille already plays. This partnership has allowed both men to contribute to the well-being and growth of the children without any conflict. Kayon's presence in the lives of Shawnee and her children has been transformative in many ways. As a faith leader, he brings a unique perspective on life, family, and personal development. His ability to mentor and offer spiritual guidance to Shawnee's children, particularly the young men, has enriched their lives in ways that go beyond the typical stepfather role. Kayon's role as a pastor gives him insight into the challenges that Black men and boys face in society, and he has taken it upon himself to impart this wisdom to Shaquille's sons, helping them navigate the complexities of the world with strength and confidence. In an episode of the Gru Zone podcast from October 10th, Kayon spoke about how he has been able to impart valuable lessons to the young men in his blended family, specifically regarding how society perceives Black people. This is a crucial aspect of his role as a stepfather, as he seeks to prepare Shaquille's sons for the challenges they may face in the world due to their race. As Black men themselves, both Kayon and Shaquille understand the unique struggles that come with being in the spotlight as African Americans, and Kayon's guidance has been pivotal in helping the boys develop a sense of identity and purpose. Kayon explained how he has taken the time to teach the young men about the realities of being Black in today's society. He spoke passionately about the need for Black men to understand how they are perceived and how to carry themselves with dignity and integrity in the face of societal pressures. For Kayan, this goes beyond just being a stepfather. It's about being a role model who can provide the kind of wisdom that will help these young men navigate a world that is often unforgiving and unjust toward people of color. His teachings emphasize the importance of self-awareness, discipline, and the power of faith. Through his faith-based leadership, Kayon offers Shaquille's sons a framework for understanding their place in the world, while also encouraging them to pursue their dreams and aspirations with confidence. Kayon's influence in their lives is subtle but profound, and it has provided them with a different kind of fatherly guidance, one that is rooted in spirituality and the pursuit of personal growth. What stands out about Kayon's approach to stepfatherhood is his ability to balance respect for Shaquille's role as the biological father while also making his own contributions to the children's upbringing. His humility and willingness to embrace the blended family dynamic have allowed for a harmonious relationship where the focus remains on the children's well-being. This approach has undoubtedly made the transition easier for the children as they are able to see that both men respect and support one another in their shared roles as father figures. Kayon's relationship with Shaquille's children is not about replacing their father, 
but rather enhancing their lives with an additional layer of mentorship and support. His role as a pastor naturally lends itself to being a source of guidance, both in matters of faith and in life's challenges. He helps them navigate not just the challenges of being young Black men, but also the complexities of growing up in the public eye, where the pressures of fame and societal expectations can be overwhelming. The rapport between Kayon and Shaquille is also a testament to their understanding of what it means to be responsible adults in a blended family. They have shown that it is possible to coexist peacefully and respectfully without the need for power struggles or resentment. This mutual respect has created a strong foundation for the entire family, allowing both men to contribute positively to the upbringing of the children they both care about. Kayon's journey into this blended family has been marked by grace and wisdom, and his role as a stepfather continues to evolve as he builds relationships with Shawnee's children. The love and respect he has shown toward Shaquille's children, as well as the respect he has received in return from Shaquille, has made it clear that a blended family can thrive when mature adults prioritize the needs of the children above all else. Their ability to work together as co-father figures demonstrates that with the right approach, Blended families can create a nurturing and supportive environment for everyone involved. In a world where blended families can often face challenges, Kayon Henderson and Shaquille O'Neal's relationship is a refreshing example of how mutual respect, open communication, and a shared commitment to the children's well-being can lead to a harmonious family dynamic. For Kayon, being a stepfather is about more than just filling a role. It's about making a meaningful difference in the lives of the children and providing them with the tools they need to succeed in life. And for Shaquille, it's clear that having someone like Kayon involved in his children's lives is nothing but a blessing. Together, they're showing that a blended family, when approached with love and respect, can be just as strong and fulfilling as any other. Kayon Henderson has always been passionate about making a meaningful impact on the lives of those around him, particularly in the Black community. In one of his candid conversations, he revealed his desire to challenge and dismantle the negative perceptions of Black people that have persisted for far too long. His goal, as he explained, is to elevate how the world sees Black individuals and communities, moving beyond the narrow, stereotypical views that have historically dominated. I want to raise the perception that people have of us and not log us into the monolithic perspective, Kayon said. His words reflected a deep commitment to reshaping how society views Black people, not as a single, homogenous group, but as individuals with unique stories, talents, and contributions. For Kayon, this mission is personal, and it extends beyond his immediate family to what he calls the extended Black family, his brothers and sisters around the world. He emphasized that part of his life's work is contributing to the dismantling of negative stereotypes and biased perceptions that have plagued the Black community for generations. This is my contribution to the extended Black family, if you will, to all of my brothers and sisters all over the world. Me as an individual, I want to contribute to the dismantling of the negative perception that's been there for many years, he disclosed. These words reveal Kayon's deep sense of responsibility, not just as a pastor or father, but as a leader who seeks to create real, lasting change in how Black people are viewed and treated. Kayon's commitment to challenging negative stereotypes is not just theoretical. It's rooted in real-life experiences, particularly those shaped by interactions with authority figures, such as law enforcement. He shared a particularly poignant story about a personal encounter that taught him and the young men in his care an invaluable lesson about the harsh realities of how Black people are often perceived by the police. This experience, Kayon explained, was not just a wake-up call for him, but also for the young men who were with him that day, including Sharif and Shakir O'Neal, Shaquille's sons. Kayon recalled the day he was driving Shaquille's blue truck with Sharif, Shakir, and their friend Greg in the car after leaving basketball practice. While this should have been an ordinary drive home, it quickly became a moment filled with anxiety and fear due to the potential of an interaction with racist police officers. I was so afraid one day driving. I had Sharif, Shakir, and Greg, a friend in the car with me, Kayon shared. The fear was palpable as he reflected on the situation, knowing that being pulled over by the police could easily escalate into something dangerous simply because of the color of their skin. He explained how his fear wasn't just for himself, but for the young men in the car, particularly Sharif and Shakir, who were already familiar with the pressures of being young black men in America. Sharif, as Kayan humorously noted, was particularly at risk of being stereotyped because of his appearance. You know Sharif, he has 10% skin and 90% tattoos. This man's entire body is covered in tattoos, Kayon said.
His description was lighthearted, but it highlighted the very real concern that someone like Sharif, who is heavily tattooed, could easily be misjudged or profiled by police officers simply based on his appearance. Shakir, Kayon noted, had fewer tattoos, but the fear of how they could all be perceived by police was still very much present. Shakir, a tattoo here and there? It's sprinkled, Kayon added, hinting at the societal pressures and judgments that come with physical appearance, particularly for young black men. The fear that he felt while driving wasn't about whether they had done anything wrong. It was about the perception of who they were in the eyes of law enforcement. Kayon's concerns reflected the painful reality that, for many black individuals, interactions with the police can be fraught with danger, regardless of their actions. This moment in the car became an opportunity for Kayan to impart a real-time life lesson to Sharif, Shakir, and Greg. He wanted them to understand the importance of being mindful of how they carry themselves in public, especially in situations involving authority figures. But more than that, he wanted them to understand that the fear they were feeling wasn't irrational. It was born out of lived experiences and centuries of systemic injustice. Kayon's goal was to equip these young men with the knowledge and wisdom needed to navigate a world that often judges them unfairly simply because of the color of their skin. Kayon's experience that day wasn't just about his role as a stepfather, but about his larger mission to empower young black men with the tools they need to thrive in a society that can be hostile toward them. The lesson he taught in the car that day is one that countless black parents and guardians have had to teach their children how to survive in a world where being black can put you at risk, especially in interactions with law enforcement. It's a difficult conversation, but one that is necessary for black families, and Kayon handled it with care and insight, ensuring that the boys understood both the dangers they might face and how to rise above them. Kayon's story reflects the ongoing challenges of being a black man in America, where appearance and race often determine how one is treated by the world. For Sharif, Shakir, and Greg, this experience was a reminder of the harsh realities they may encounter, no matter their background or status. Even as the sons of a globally recognized sports icon, they are not immune to racial profiling or the potential dangers of being perceived as a threat by those in power. Through his guidance, Kayon has made it clear that his role as a stepfather and mentor is not just about providing emotional support, but also about equipping these young men with the practical tools and life lessons they need to navigate a complex and often prejudiced world. His role extends beyond the traditional confines of fatherhood, as he seeks to provide spiritual, emotional, and intellectual leadership to the next generation. Kayon's approach to stepfatherhood is rooted in his faith and his desire to uplift those around him, particularly the young black men in his life. By sharing these life lessons with Sharif and Shakir, Kayon is not only preparing them for the challenges they may face, but he is also contributing to the larger conversation about race, identity, and perception in America. His dedication to reshaping the way black people are viewed is part of his broader mission as a pastor and leader, and it's a mission that he brings into his family life as well. As Kayon Henderson continued to recount the story of that nerve-wracking drive with Sharif, Shakir, and their friend Greg, his deep concerns for their safety became increasingly evident. The fear he experienced wasn't just about the possibility of being pulled over by police. It was about how his passengers would be perceived simply because of their race. They got the windows down, they don't have any shirts on, and I'm driving in Texas, Kayon recalled. I'm scared to death because I know that when people see black men with tattoos, they see thugs. When they see other people with tattoos, they see art. This moment encapsulated a painful reality that many black men in America face, the constant worry of being misjudged or unfairly targeted because of their appearance. For Kayon, this fear was deeply personal. He knew that in the eyes of some, especially law enforcement, black men, particularly those covered in tattoos, might be seen as a threat. This fear, born out of generations of systemic racism and police brutality, weighed heavily on Kayon as he drove that day knowing that the lives of the young men in his care could be put at risk by a simple traffic stop. Kayon's anxiety wasn't irrational. It was grounded in the very real experiences of Black men who have been unfairly profiled or even harmed during interactions with police. His concerns extended beyond himself. He feared for the safety of the boys in the car, particularly Sharif, who has a heavily tattooed body. When people see Black men with tattoos, they see thugs, Kayon explained. But when they see other people with tattoos, they see art. This stark contrast in perception spoke volumes about the deep-seated biases that Black people must contend with daily.
The way society views and treats Black men is often shaped by these superficial judgments, making it all the more important for Kayon to impart life lessons about how to navigate such situations. In that moment, Kayon feared the worst. He admitted to himself that he was terrified of being pulled over by the police, not because they were doing anything wrong, but because of the potential assumptions that might be made about them. The fear of being racially profiled haunted him. I thought, oh my God, a police officer is going to pull us over and assume that there are four drug dealers in this expensive car and we're going to be another statistic, Kayon admitted. His heart raced at the thought, knowing full well that such assumptions could have devastating consequences. While it may not have been true, the possibility was real enough to make him take immediate action to protect the boys. In an effort to reduce the chances of being perceived as suspicious, Kayon began giving instructions to the young men in the car desperately trying to mitigate the risk of an encounter with the police. Put your arm in that window. Roll that window up. Sit that seat up straight. Put a t-shirt on so we can get home, he recalled telling them. This was more than just a set of instructions. It was survival advice. Kayon knew that in their world, simple things like how they presented themselves in public could be the difference between getting home safely and becoming victims of racial profiling or worse. That's how we have to live. He concluded, the weight of that reality hanging heavy in the air. Kayon's story is a reflection of the reality that many Black parents, step-parents, and mentors must confront, preparing their children for the possibility of dangerous encounters with law enforcement, even when they've done nothing wrong. The measures Kayon took that day were necessary precautions, but they also highlighted the deep injustices and inequalities that remain embedded in society. These are the lessons Black parents have to teach their children, the lessons about how to survive in a world that too often sees them as threats simply because of their skin color or how they look. For Shawnee O'Neill, Kayon's fear was something she understood but hadn't personally experienced in the same way. Her children, raised primarily in California, didn't grow up with the same looming sense of danger that Kayon had experienced in Texas. Shawnee acknowledged this during the conversation, reflecting on how her children's upbringing shielded them somewhat from the harsh realities of racial profiling and police brutality. These are California kids, so driving around like that in L.A. is normal to them, Shawnee said, recognizing the difference in regional experiences. To her children, it wasn't unusual to ride around in the car shirtless with the windows down, enjoying the carefree lifestyle that comes with youth. But as Kayan had explained, the environment they were in and the perceptions people hold could change everything. Shawnee agreed with her husband that perception plays a critical role in how Black people are policed and how they must navigate society. The same casual behavior that seemed innocent and normal in Los Angeles could be interpreted very differently in Texas or other parts of the country. The cultural and societal differences between these regions and how they view Black people created a stark contrast that Shawnee had not fully grappled with until hearing Kayan's perspective. Together they came to an understanding that, despite regional differences, Black people everywhere face similar struggles when it comes to how they are perceived by others particularly those in positions of authority. The conversation between Shawnee and Kian illuminated the broader reality of being Black in America. For many Black families, the fear of being unfairly targeted by the police is an everyday reality, one that they cannot afford to ignore. Kion's experience was a reminder that even in moments of normalcy, driving home from basketball practice, there can be an underlying fear that danger might be lurking just around the corner. Not because of what they're doing, but because of who they are. And as much as Shawnee's children had been shielded from this reality to some degree, Kayon's life experiences made him all too aware of the potential risks. For Kayon, the goal isn't to live in fear, but to be prepared. His life lesson for the boys that day wasn't just about avoiding conflict with the police. It was about navigating a world where the color of their skin can dictate how they are treated. It's a harsh truth that Kayon has had to come to terms with, and it's a truth he wants to ensure the young men under his care are aware of as well. By sharing his fears and his strategies for dealing with these encounters, Kayon is helping to equip them with the tools they need to survive and thrive in a society that too often views them through a lens of suspicion and bias. The marriage of Shawnee and Kayon, celebrated with joy and love in a ceremony in Anguilla, symbolizes not just the joining of two lives, but the merging of two families and their unique experiences. As they navigate life together, they bring their different perspectives and histories to the table, learning from each other and growing stronger as a family.
Kayon's role as a stepfather and mentor has been pivotal in helping Shawnee's children understand the complexities of being Black in America, particularly when it comes to how they are perceived by the world around them. While Shawnee's children may not have been raised with the same fears that Kayon experienced growing up, they are learning from him about the broader realities of racism and police brutality. It's a lesson that extends beyond their family, touching on the experiences of Black people everywhere. For Kayon, being a father figure means more than just providing love and guidance. It means preparing these young men for the world they will inherit, equipping them with the knowledge and awareness needed to protect themselves in situations where they might be unfairly judged. Through his leadership, both as a pastor and as a stepfather, Kayon Henderson continues to challenge negative perceptions and advocate for a world where Black people are seen for who they are as individuals, not through the narrow lens of stereotypes, his experiences, both personal and shared, are a testament to the resilience and strength required to navigate a society that still struggles with deep-seated biases. And as he continues to guide his family, Kayon's hope is to raise a generation of young Black men who are proud, confident, and ready to dismantle the very perceptions that once sought to define them. Kayon's story and his commitment to his family serves as a powerful reminder of the ongoing fight for equality and the role that each individual can play in reshaping the narrative for future generations. Through love, wisdom, and a deep sense of responsibility, he is helping to change the way Black men and women are seen in this world, one life lesson at a time.